By the way, I need to say thank you for last night. You certainly know how to treat a girl. Yeah, well, I happen to think you deserve it. Well, you won't hear any arguments from me. I'd stick to cereal for breakfast. It's a lot less dangerous. Although, you could actually choke on a cornflake. I'm not sure that night in a bin did much to make him like me. No, but I like you, and that's all that matters. Oh. What are you doing later? Dropping Nora off at school and then nothing. So you feel free to surprise me, girl. Here we go. So come on, what do you say? Thanks for having me. Oh, pleasure, love. He's been a joy as always. He's even managed to beat his Uncle Zach at Snap. Yeah, did you? <laughs> yeah, well, I've things on my mind, haven't I? What's he on about? He's on his eye horse, as per usual. Only this time it's a non-runner from the start. Go and get your sandwiches, love. To be honest, I am more worried about little Noah. He's missing Sarah and Debbie very much. Well, Ken isn't exactly playing happy families right now, is he? Well, that's not exactly Noah's fault, is it? OK, fine. If it will make you happy, I will try. Hey, I made you some sandwiches, didn't I? Squeezy cheese. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, it's no trouble. I was making some for myself anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, come. You're not going back to work, are you? So that's what's up with his face. What I think counts for nothing these days. I am going, and that is final. You can sulk as much as you like. Right. Let's come out with you so I don't kick off again. Come on, then. See you, Uncle Zach. Yeah, bye, love. Bye, love. Bye. Oh, he is very cute. Someone I should know about? Love to chat, but I'm busy. Right, so you can go up at good-looking men, but ignore your mum. Um, do you blame me? <sighs> Debs, I've made my choice. I'm with Jay now. Yeah, and don't we all know it? Yeah, because of course your dad's the victim in all of this, isn't he? Look, I know it's a bit messy right now, but I am still your mum. And I'm still... Sarah's... Granny. Yes. Yes, that. Oh, come on. Noah really misses you and Sarah. Well, she has been asking about him. You see? All the more reason for me to pick her up at school and do her some tea. Save you the bother. Are you joking? I'm not having her getting used to seeing you at Jay's. Oh, why? Because you think it won't last? <sighs> Fine, I'll take her for a burger. Debs, I'm really trying here. Fine. I'll pick Noah up. He can have tea at mine. At least I'll eat something proper there. I thought you were busy. Yeah, well, this might come as a shock, but Sarah's more important. Ouch. You really are twisting it, aren't you? Am I picking him up or not? I'll be your way. Just the way I like it. Oh, it's you. Why? Are you expecting dress like that? <laughs> or are they already here? What? No. Like who? Oh, come off it. Jeez, it's a meeting in Harrogate and you're all poshed up. It's all just the front, isn't it? Maybe. He's up there, isn't he? Oi! Mate! You've been sussed! And they call me a skyver. No, there is nobody up there. It is way better than that. Mmm, gory details now, please. OK. So this was hand-delivered today from the coolest boutique going. And it's just a die for. And that was inside the box. Meet me at the Orange Grove at 2.30. Oh, isn't that where all the footballers hang out? Yes, it is. And now me, because he's only gone and booked a room. Oh, you know what? If you ever get sick of being spoiled, then I'll fill in. I could do some new plobber. You're joking. There is no way. I am parting with this. And why aren't you at work, anyway? Me, Graham. Well, that works every time. Uh, and you thought I was at a loose end, possibly. Well, sorry to disappoint. No, actually, I have an appointment at the bank. About buying the pub. Just wanted to run a few ideas past you. Get you, Mrs Business Brains. Good for you. Do you think they'll go for it? I hope so. Well, listen, I can lend you the perfect outfit, OK? Professional, a little bit suggestive. You are meeting a bloke? Oh, yeah, made sure of it. Get us. Me at the Orange Grove, you at the bank. Anyone would think we were respectable. Yeah, right. <laughs> can I help? Yeah, up to him. Of course, sir. And the name? Charmer.
So you like the dress? Sorry, kid, but Jay can't be here. What have you done? He's wandering around arrogant looking for some fella. Doesn't that amuse you? The thought of it. Well, it certainly tickles my fancy anyway. Off. Oh. Calm down. I will scream. Go on then. Pooler can spare you some time. I wouldn't do that if More I were service, please. Yeah, could we get a bottle of your best champagne up here straight away, please? Okay, thanks. That should have been waiting when I got here. It's the details that count, Kane. Never did have any class. So, we neck this and go on. All this fuss and then we just leave? <laughs> That's the plan. Why so confused? It's important to know when you are beaten. Yes, it is. Because you are coming home with me, sweetheart. And why would I do that? Oh, come on, you made your little point with Toffee Boy. Look, I accept you can get other offers. But we both know you'd never have him over me. Does he make you whipping with licorice laces? <laughs> oh, why can't you be like this all the time? Like what? Funny and ugly instead of grumpy and ugly or just... Plain ugly. You bring it out in me. Fine. What a witch. I destroy everything that's good in you. So what are you doing here? Well, it's been nice. You can have too much of a good thing. I'm trying to be friendly. You're trying to get round me, so I'll come back and wash your mucky overalls and put up with your vile moods and your rubbish sex. How many times do I have to say sorry? And you had to take me hostage to say that, did you? Is this a hostage situation, by the way? Because if it is, I could be in for criminal compo and that would come in very handy, thank you. It's always about the money. <laughs> if it was, would I be with Jay when I could have had Declan ten times over? How big is your head? Causes a bit of a free son nicking a man's car. Yeah, do tell. Well, he so wanted me. So why didn't you have him? Uh, because I was with you. I loved you and <sighs> thought we'd actually got somewhere. We had. And it was deeply boring. It wasn't. Which is a good thing, I suppose. Boring and normal and school runs and shopping and all the things that other people do. So if you're saying even the bad stuff was good, what are you doing here? You set me up. I meant coming to meet him. You know you want to. No. It is over. Jay is my partner now. Partner? Bloke, fella, lover, squeeze. Shut up, you're making me sick. Okay, well, you go then. Go home, and so will I. I can't. I can't let you go. So finish your drink. Who's paying? You. If you're not careful. Banging head, you said to me. It was! Earlier. And then you got the cheek to waltz back in here asking for overtime. <sighs> I need the money. Chaz, I've been messed around enough today without you skiving off. Yeah, well, at least I skive off work like normal people. You're just a weirdo. What? Anyone for a nice cup of tea? No, not now, Tinkerbell. All right, steady. You've already got one tribunal in your thing. Jenny. I told you that I'd said it to Laurel. Said what? Fear's taking Jay to an industrial tribunal. Well, now you've just told her. 
unintentionally. Jenny! Oh, a bully and a weirdo. The list is endless. Well, what kind of man stays in an office when you've got some hot chick at a hotel waiting to get chick with him? Did you say banging head or bang on the head? I'm not getting involved. Dress? Hotel booking? She's waiting for you now, you pillock. No, my brain is actually hurting. Have you arranged to meet Charity at a hotel? No. Jenny, the bloke on the phone. Could it have been Kane? Kane. Jenny, come on. But could it have been Kane? Yes, maybe, I don't know. Right, you with me now. If he has so much as laid a finger on him. It's killing Debbie us being like this. Yeah, I wondered when you'd bring her into it. Why don't we have another kid? We're both young enough. Yeah, and I'd be off the market for months, probably years. Meaning? Meaning that... I'd be all yours. I have never stopped you from doing your own thing. You're stopping me now! Well, I won't come to heal this time, Ken. I won't submit to you. You'd hate me if I did anyway. Don't even think of doing more. Weird. I wouldn't. Why not? Think about it. You said it was for me. Yeah, you think you're Jay? For some strange reason, I was expecting him to be here. Please don't read it. My darling partner. And what did you call Faye Fido? I wasn't looking, but somehow you found me. It's Carly Simon. Well, at least it proves. What, that you weren't looking? Yes, whatever. If you hadn't slept with her, none of this would have happened, would it? Please, please, come on. No. I'll forgive you. What? I, I mean, I mean, we'll forget about it. We'll forget all about this. I don't want to. <laughs> Never know what me not. Yeah, because any kind of genuine feeling makes you sick. Presents don't make me sick. Cufflinks wouldn't have made me sick. No, they'd have made you angry. You can barely even cut with buttons, can you? Oh! Ah! Ah! No! No! no. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm not. I saw you that day at the church when you took Debbie to find him. His name was Michael. Whatever. And there you were. In your wedding dress. <laughs> With a very surprised look on my face, I'd imagine. It was there, straight away. Same old feeling. Yeah. Same old feeling. got blood all over your shirt. Look, why don't you take it off and I could run you a bath or something. And we will sit and talk. Sit where? I don't know, on the bog or something. The bog? Yeah, with the lid down. Oh, forget it. Since when were we having bath time chats? Since never, with you. 
So it's a J thing. Proper loving couples do that kind of thing all the time. They're not weird like us. We're not weird. It's called intimacy. And what a difference it makes. We are intimate. No, we're not. Not like that. If it's not about sex, we cover ourselves up like we're ashamed or something. Well, that's ironic when one of us used to sell our bits with no shame at all. Oh, God. Charity. It always has to come back to that, doesn't it? I don't know why I said that. You said that because you hate me. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. And I understand. Because <laughs> you can't help it, can you? Stop it. Come here. Come here. Gone too far. I'll tell you all. And have a cheap little whore contaminate. Have a cheap little whore contaminate your car. I should never ever have said that. Stop you thinking it, though, would it? Selling my bits. My bits. What way is that to talk about someone's body? My body, the woman you insist you love. I do. Then how can you say those things? I was 14 and it wasn't prostitution, it was abuse. And you throw it back in my face at every opportunity you get like it's my shame. Because I can't stand the thought of it. You liar. You reveled in it when you were telling the gory details to Jay. That's because I wanted to hurt you. Oh? Well, I charge extra for that. Didn't you know? I can still remember the first one, you know. He walked me down some alleyway and into an old garage and he wasn't gentle and he wasn't careful. Stop it. Because I was nothing to him. And do you know what I got for it? Food. I got a bit of food because I was hungry and I hadn't eaten. And I was not much older than Belle is now. And would you say those things to Belle if she was forced to sell herself? Would you? So then why do you say those things to me? About me? I am so sorry if the idea offends you. But I don't get the luxury of the idea, Kane. Because guess what? I had to live it. Now, I know it's completely the bottom for you to tell us what room they're in, but uh, I also know you're barely on minimum wage, and to me, quite frankly, that is obscene. <laughs> yes, Jay, I'll be with you in a minute. None of this would have been possible without you, you know. Oh, your anger and your jealousy. It's your lack of self-esteem that kills us every time. You had to go out and sleep with someone else just so you could feel better about yourself, so that you could feel a bit more equal. When all I did was just smile and have a chat and a laugh with Jay. None of this would have happened if it hadn't have been for your twisted, hateful heart getting it all wrong. And I'm the one that has to be punished every time. Go on then, leave. You might tamper with Jay's car next. Don't be stupid. Or we'll put petrol through our letterbox. And who cares if Noah's in the house? And you want me to leave? So that you can come after me when you fancy it? Even to a nutter like you, does that seem fair? I'm finished. Can I have your word as a gentleman on that? Just remember, you've got a daughter and a granddaughter, so don't go and do anything silly. You're saying that for them or yourself? I wouldn't want you dead. Charity! Please don't be stupid. It's what I do best. It won't make you happy. Like I've ever known happiness. I'll settle for a bit of warmth. I'm 
better with him. Whatever you start with her, you finish with me, Ken. Charity, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Please, just let me go. I can't. I love you. But you've hurt me so much. All my life. Never again. What if I said I'd come back? If you never mentioned again what I did as a kid. Anything, anything you want. Say it. I'll never mention it again. Because it wasn't my fault. I promise. I'll never mention it again. Charity. I'm sorry, it's not happening. As always, you choose the money, you little tart. You couldn't even last five seconds, could you? <laughs> Charity! It's all right! It's gonna let me go, aren't you? Not a word, okay, I'm fine. Just a little trip down memory lane, that's all. 